On today's podcast, we talk all about super subs and why no one likes getting light switched, Ronaldo's appearance for Phoenix FC, and we end it all with my appearance on Crime Watch. Hello and welcome to that Peter Crouch podcast. Uh, I'm joined by Chris Stark of Notorious SID. Uh, now, this episode is brought to you by our friends at Paddy Power and a new super sub product. Yeah, so that's right. Today, we're celebrating the power of the humble substitute uh, who's gone through quite a transformation in recent years, I think it's fair yes, to say. Yes, series one of the podcast, uh, we covered subs on the on the podcast. We talked about our own experiences uh, and things have changed a little bit since then. So we're going to get into, into the substitutes, a role that I know quite well, obviously, because James Milner uh, just took over my very prestigious tag of most substitute player in the Premier League. When did you... It's the one, it's the one they all wanted. <laughs> when did you find out you had that? At the end? I had or... no idea. I had no clue until someone told me. When you were still playing or when you well, finished? I think, I think when I broke whoever's record it was. Yeah. Then I, I knew then. Yeah. I can't remember. Because who Millie's I, only I done that recently, wasn't he? I've done, I done yeah. an interview with him a couple yeah, of months I think, back. I, yeah, I think it was... Was it while he was at Liverpool, was it? Or not? No. It was, was it recently. Was Brighton? Yeah, Brighton. Yeah, recently. Yeah. It's yeah. a good record, I think. Do you know what? It's, 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 at first glance, it could look negative, couldn't it? Well, yeah. I think it's one of those ones where it's like, you know, I'd rather have Shearer's one. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, all Milner's appearance record, which is an absolutely incredible achievement. But then my mate said it to me. He said, um, I, I'd give my right arm for, for one of those substitute appearances. Yeah. You know, so when you look at it actually yeah, from a I get from that. a perspective of 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 people who haven't played the game, it is, you know, it's still I'm still it's still appearances. But you, you've sort of got to take that as a given though. Like that's I mean, even the what what's the worst stat in football that could be leveled that at one, you? Huh? No, I don't think... No, they'll be worse than oh, that. Oh, yeah, like most like, own goals or the most... Most own goals, um, there you go. Yeah. You'll still have a mate who'll go, yeah, but I still would have given anything for that one appearance, wouldn't I? And like, that's almost a given. Yeah. I don't... I actually I don't want to do it down. I just think it is. it might actually just be quite a positive stat in its own right because it suggests to me that a manager in times of trouble turns to you more often than anyone else. Yeah, yeah but the flip side of that is he's he's put me on the bench... <laughs> More times than anyone. <laughs> so, I mean, whereas no, you can, no, no, it's not because you're not necessarily on the bench more than anyone else. You're on the bench and being used. Mm. Well, and whereas there'll be plenty of people who've just been on the bench, on the bench yeah, and more and don't yeah. get used. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but, and you're you're on the bench being used, but then also you're coming on and making an impact because amount of times you've come on and scored as well. Yeah, it sort of brightens up. Whereas if you're coming on just mm. to yeah, you know, be a body on there and shore the game up. It's that's not it's not flattering, is it? That's what I no, have to do a couple of no. times. Well, funny enough, there's actually the the, the, the top ten uh, highest scoring subs in Premier League history. Some bunch this. Oh, right. <laughs> it's just a weird eclectic mix of people. I think the foe tops it with twenty four. Yeah, uh, Giroud, I'm shocked that Giroud twenty one. Yeah, Javier um, yeah. Javier Hernandez nineteen goals. Mm. I think that's unbelievable because he wasn't he wasn't in England that long, was he? Like, certainly not more than Jim Defoe. Or no. Like, this next one got me. Carno, 17. <laughs> That's mad. Yeah. Daniel Sturridge, 17 as well. Solskjaer, who wow. I consider possibly the, the best super sub. Yeah. Yeah. You think about things he's done. He's the first he, one that he, always comes to your mind. Yeah. Oli Gunnar. I think he so. He should get double points for some of them as well, I think. Yeah, Just well, he scored, he, scored, did he scored four of the bench one game. Four against Nottingham Forest. Yeah, Forest. Yeah. 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 From, from the bench, yeah. which is incredible. Crouch. Uh, not seventh on the list was 16 oh sorry this one got me Victor and Ichibi. oh yeah 40 oh, I wouldn't have had that so uh, Everton goals. Everton West Brom as well was he yeah Everton. 14 yeah, West Brom. I mean if you're coming on and scoring and making an impact I mean I, you're more you're, you're important mm. you're important nice so we're like number 9 Welbeck and number 10 Dzeko yeah anything any, anything different there Sorry, yeah. I was just distracted because we were just getting a quick delivery. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is it? You right, mate? Second. It's the old Royal Mail. See you later. There they are. That All strikers. Amazing. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought, I was like, we're talking about substitutes and then walks a lad from the Royal Mail and mm. I was like, what? what's he subbing him for? But yeah. it's... Like, <laughs> Yeah, oh well. Although you do get sub postmasters, don't you? I keep hearing that in the the news, given the whole post yeah. office scandal. Well, my, what about what about this one? My mate was a sub for paper, paper round. So when I we were talking about paper round before we start this podcast, my mate was the he used to help in the shop unless someone didn't turn up. 
for their round. Oh. And then he went and done their round. So he had to learn all the routes. Yeah, but didn't you have that, like, a lot of your mate's parents would be subs for their paper round as well? well my dad was. My dad was. Because, like... Yeah. My dad got awesome. in that... Um, have you heard of that? You know, there's an advertising magazine called um, Campaign. Right. Do you know what that is? Uh, it's basically for in, like, house kind of advertising agencies. They have Campaign on the table, this and that. And there's a story that <laughs> came out of my dad doing my round. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I said, yeah, BBC... Well, no, sorry. Um... Uh, yeah, BBH uh, ad executive d- 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 Moonlight. <laughs> that was a picture of my dad. <laughs> that was a picture of my dad doing my round. So what happened there? He was spotted. <laughs> Honestly, or no, was he? no, he done like a thing. Like they, he told people at work, and they, the campaign got hold of it and said, "We need a picture of this." Yeah. So yeah. they took a picture. And he done like a little thing. It's a noble job, that wasn't it? But the, you did have. I can't say it was me, but you did have the odd mate that just sort of dumped all the papers and they always got found out in the end. Yeah, yeah. you that. see them sometimes. The leader mm. in the bush down yeah. the road. <laughs> you would. But also, I don't know why we in, in England never did it like the Americans do it. You know how they cycle Launch down it. the road and just, yeah, it just needs to be in the vague direction of a, yeah. of a house. Well, there was a, there was a computer game. Yeah, that was it. Was it Paperboy? Paperboy. Yeah. yeah. I used to play that. <laughs> and used to get done by the dog. That's it. <laughs> I've never seen this. <laughs> no, no. Paperboy. No. It was like one of the bike. Do, and the graphics were shocking, yeah. weren't they? And you had to like ping yeah. the paper in the box. That's it. And if you got a dog, it chased you. You'd have to pick it up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this, this is way back. Great game. Yeah. a long time ago, like. <laughs> yeah. Just going back to this super sub thing that you were talking about. How does it work? Yeah, well, uh, with Paddy Power's Super Sub, uh, this is something that, like, I remember when I was a kid, um, we, I'd always had the first goal scorer. And then when he went off, you'd be like, absolutely gutted. So um, this is, your bet now rolls over to the new player coming on at the same odds. Uh, for example, if you bet on Kevin De Bruyne, and he's replaced by Doku, who is then replaced by Jack Grealish, your, your bet will pass from De Bruyne to Doku to Grealish. So you've Genius. always got kind of interest. Well, you, you know, so... So how does it work if, if say, a defender comes... Or, or let's say... Let me get this right. If you've backed a defender yeah. and they come off, yeah, you, but they're making an attacking substitution, on comes Peter Crouch. Mm. You, you're, you're still on yeah. the same as backing the defender, yeah, except a striker's yeah, is, come into play. Which is obviously amazing, that's, isn't it? That's mad. Because yeah. you'd have to assume as well, throughout a game, the chances of a manager wanting to make an attacking substitution will increase. Yeah, so, if especially, they're losing. Especially this season. Yeah. Because the way that more subs are having an impact on scoring goals. Yeah, there's a stat here, right? 2021, uh, it was 8.8 of Premier League goals from subs. Then uh, 2022, 9.5. 2023, 12.27. And 24, 15%, over 15% of goals in the Premier League. So it's going up every year. Well, do you know what they... they like, so when I was doing my coaching badges, we... Uh, like each their own but at Brighton when I was doing it they was not class as subs they're class as finishers so you can't they, their names weren't subs yeah that was I did that with you yeah yeah and it was like so, yeah. like, so when you obviously you, like the team sheet comes out 1 to 11 and then on the side it would be finishers you know like in the team meeting before you give to players so makes you feel good yeah, you're but sub. you're submitting a team sheet called subs aren't you it's it's yeah, but you are. Are you the trying to one. claim but you're that trying to build the ego? He of... was talking to the squad yeah. and making the subs feel better by saying you're yeah. you're, Where, you're not that's gonna get starters, messy. You're that, finishers. That's yeah. bollocks, isn't it? Well, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's that but don't you think that's gonna... would that feel better to you if you said I need you to say you're my finisher? Yeah, you're my finisher. Or if so I said just to you, check am I playing? No, no, you're not. Come in and finish it off. You're you're gonna finish the game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that if, makes you feel better. It's all psychology. Yeah, psychology. but you can't tell all subs that they are finishers because they're not all going to come on. So, well, so I, the conversation would go more. So I go, um, Gaffer, am I am I playing today? Uh, where am I on the sheet? And you'll go, you'll say no. No, you're my finisher. Well, I wouldn't say that. I'd go, no, you're my finisher. Yeah. And then after the game, there's too much going on. You're not going to say, well, I didn't finish it, did I? Like, yeah, it's already gone. <laughs> yeah, but I would be like, but all the other lads that are the, what I would think are subs, are they finishers too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Potentially, it's, yes. <laughs> it's just a way to massage the ego, but is, the proof is there. I mean, 15.4% Premier yeah, League is, goals from subs. They, they, that is it, a lot. Yeah. 
And I think that's the, it's more of an attacking approach, isn't it? Now I think clubs are uh, adapting, you know, not just to come on and shore things up, it's to come on. If you're winning two two one, you're winning three one. Do you mean a finisher is in finishing the game, or do you mean that it was only with the strikers that? They were no, not like a goal scorer. No, it's yeah, like, like finish. instead of calling them substitutes, that is you'd dreadful. Say your finishers, you got starters, and everyone, everyone, just, that that's a recognised term. Mm. Starters and finishers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely way of, you know, saying you're not as shit as you think. Yeah. <laughs> it's very wooden spoony. It's, it's a bit, a bit wooden like spoony. it's, it's given a for all. It's given a prize to everyone at the school race, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So if you finish the marathon, you get a big, you know, certificate, or whatever. You know, you've you got no the marathon. Yeah, you know, you know, they always get like you always get something at the end, don't you? Well, do you think the marathon should just be top you three. only reward the top ten <laughs> percent with a medal, and everyone else gets a participation award? Well, that's it's just participation. It's the most you know most improved player in the Sunday League team, isn't it? You know, no one wanted that. No, no one wanted that. <laughs> you well, must have got that. A I, few got, times. I, I was actually quite proud of. <laughs> <laughs> have you had most improved player? Of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's all just depends how you perceive things, isn't it? <laughs> my 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 perception of most improved players is you you weren't very good, but you've turned up every week and you yeah. try hard. It's a token, yeah, but you're it's making a token you're almost making out that the most improved player in any team has only improved by matching the standard of the rest of them. Yeah. What I'm saying, what it says to me is, you were all good, all of you. Sid's, you're good. Crouchy, you're good. Starkey, you. Even better than that, you improved at a faster rate than all the other yeah, lads. Yeah, you're, like, you're ahead of them. You keep believing that. Yeah, but it's not. It doesn't make you ahead. That's the thing, because the most improved player. It doesn't make like, you. If you, if you were the best player last year and you improved more than everyone else, mm. you're just going to get managers player, aren't you? <laughs> or you're going to no, managers players parch. You're going to get players player. You know, you're. You, you know, if you if you're one of the best, one of the best players, say top three, and you've improved massively to be the best player, you're going to get players player. Whereas if you're not necessarily shit, players, and... players, player, you could be one of the most brilliant players in the team and hated. Uh, yeah, true. But then you, you so players you aren't going to vote for the, for the the lad that they hate. You think it's a popularity contest? Players, I right? think so. Do you? Do you not? I never voted like that. No. Well, you voted with full integrity for players, player. Well, I voted for myself most of the time. <laughs> 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 I didn't. I'm... But most improved players, basically. I don't know. Listen, I think you know. It, I you're think doing it, down a lot of listeners right now. That one most, most improved. improved player. Yeah. I think if you're a kid, you know, I don't want you to be upset if you win that now. You know, it's a good trophy to win, but I don't think it's the best trophy to win out of. The, I agree with that. Uh, yeah. I agree if I'm that. honest, I think I want it two, but possibly three seasons in a row at Penn Stars. Yeah, but imagine how shit you were at the start. Of. <laughs> you win it back to back. <laughs> I think I did go back to back. Was <laughs> my worry is how much room for improvement was there? <laughs> you know, so, you're very capable now, so you have obviously improved at a great rate. You don't have most improved at your elite level, though, do you? I don't think. I think. Would, would, you? would you have it at youth team level? No, you can't. No. You'd no. love to see it in the Premier League, though, wouldn't you? You'd love to see it. Like, <laughs> most improved player. Well, let's get a couple of teams. I've got one let's for say you. Let's say it's introduced. Almiron. <laughs> Almiron. Definitely. Okay, well, like, uh, one of his early seasons, struggled. Yeah. yeah. And then unbelievable last year, wasn't he? Yeah. Getting in, got his t- team into the Champions League. It's an unbelievably, <laughs> unbelievable most improved player. And, and the thing is, you can't say that that's, you know, it contradicts what I said there because he was actually a very yeah. good player. Nailed it. Yeah, but... Do you know what I mean? He's he's improved. It contradicted he has improved, me he has saying, improved, but it, it was a negative award. Now suddenly you're no. That's what I'm saying. I'm contradicting myself because it's like he's gone from you know below par to then actually being a really really competent player. Let's do it. End of the season. You know how every club has an award. Yeah. Let's contact. Appreciate his bit of admin, but let's contact every club and Peter and Sid's. Like I think it, they'll respect it from you guys. Um, we'll award most improved most improved player for. We, we don't have to do every club, can we? We can just pick a few. But it'd be interesting to be able to present the award to that player and just see what they say. Well, I suppose it's along the lines of like a back stronger and a chamber one, isn't it? Yeah, as well. so. like, yeah. It definitely yeah it can be. Yeah. Can be. See, now we're thinking about it in a brand. more positive sense now, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, I, I used to, I used to, I used to look, my no, look down on my nose at it, to be honest. But I think, you know, I'm, 
I'm coming around having this you've discussion. You've a new light to this. You've, <laughs> you've, changed the, you've changed the perception. Uh, Who would you give it to at Chelsea, for example? Lucarella. Yeah, he's, yeah. Has anyone improved there this year? There's, there isn't, is there, really? They've used a lot of players. Yeah, what about um, Man United? What about McTomney? Hoy- Hoyland. Yeah. yeah. Man U. Yeah, yeah, well, he's, yeah. He's, uh, from the start of the season to now. There you go. Yeah, most improved. Yeah. I really like this. Awesome. It's an interesting one from club to club. Well, let us know. Get in touch on the socials and, and do let us know about your thoughts on this. Most improved player. Most improved. Yeah. Okay, right. I've got a few uh, substitute questions for you here. Most iconic super sub moments in football history. There's only one that's for example. Sol- Solskjaer. Yeah, well, sure. It's, is... it's just got to be, isn't it? It's like, yeah. no one bigger well, than that. That is incredible. You know, you know the four goals that he scored against Nottingham Forest? Mm. It was in the same season that he come and done Champions League. That was the same season. It was the same season. That was when he kind of cemented himself as a, as the super as the the, super sub. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would say the most you... iconic super sub. Yeah, I would say. I mean, that was it, when him and Sheeran have also came on. Mm. That was that was unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah. Like I, I don't remember ever witnessing something like that. I've got another name for you though, Divock Origi. Yeah, wow. he he's a, he's a legend in Liverpool. Folklore. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, and purely down to a super sub. Yeah. But are we, talk, are we talking goals? about this just basically a like Champions League super subs? No, or are we, that, is it just a got, nice he, excuse? He scored the winner for, against Everton the most yeah. derby. Do you remember yeah. that one? Yeah. Par. But then that's what made him so exciting to watch him come on. Like when you galvanise that finisher role as you it, described it. There was a there. buzz, you know, because I, I remember when I, when I was uh, a, a substitute quite a lot, when I came on, like you could feel like a shift in like the the crowd because yeah. they did they, they thought that I'd cause a bit of carnage you know and I think um, it did I did feel that when I came on and like often you know if I hadn't scored I'd still be like because we'd start instead of all this slow build up play we'd go right come on we're losing now and crosses came in every chances and it was definitely a different move. I felt that kind of move yeah come yeah on. I did and I yeah. think you know even the, you looked at they they make substitutions to counteract the substitution with me coming on so yeah. there'd be another centre half would come yeah. on and they'd kind of retreat back and there also was... the way it, it galvanises a crowd like it, as you're saying I hadn't really thought of it in that sense that when you're coming on as a substitute you're also making that noise which then probably affects the the kind of attitude yeah. of everyone on the pitch yeah. of it. it's a bit like yeah. well, it's here we go isn't it yeah it's, it's like uh, that bit yeah, yeah. Uh, another name for you Roger Miller oh yeah 1990 World Cup for yeah. Cameroon Scored four goals, all from substitute. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, did I, he? Wait, do you know when he came on? Yeah, it was only only about half hour he got, didn't he? He was thirty eight. Thirty eight. So he was ridiculed for being there in the first place, and obviously the dance, everyone oh, associates him with the corner, the dip. I've seen them hips in. Oh, you? You? <laughs> I, got that, I got that. I got that move. <laughs> it's actually my signature move. People think it's the robot. But the old Roger Miller comes down. <laughs> you know you're in trouble. There's a bit of context to this. I walked into a bar, right? And there's, they play live music. And I, he said, oh, come and meet me. So I was with my wife and I walked into this bar and there's Pete up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, a, this restaurant's like a Cuban restaurant, right? Anyway, I've said, I've texted him and gone, oh, come and meet me. Yeah. But then I've just kind of like forgot about that. And I didn't think he'd even come. And then me and Ab were giving it this little salsa. <laughs> He's walked in and gone, oh my God, what is going on? There's only about two couples dancing. Brilliant. Brilliant. one of them. <laughs> Did you do it knowing he was about to walk no, in? No, I, I was just pretty forgot. I just, it was just a, it was an evening that we were having and uh, he turned up yeah. and he was laughing his head off. Snake hips, there we go. Yeah. What about our lad the other day? Um, uh, against, against Liverpool. That was a substitution. Last goal. Yeah, Diallo. He yeah. scored the... Uh, he scored the winner. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable for him. And then got sent off. And, and then got sent off. For, by the way, I missed what, what that was for. I was, I was in a pub at the time. Off. He's he already booked. Took a oh. shirt off. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got sent off before coming on. I, something happened to me towards the end of my career when I was substituting. I felt like I shouldn't be. And I, I'd just come on. And, I'd come on and be, just be so angry. I don't know what got into me. What, you come on the pitch angry? Yeah. You know, like when you're fuming that you've been on the bench and you just release all your kind of pent-up frustration mm. from the bench. I've done, a, I've done the worst act I've ever done in my life on Cesc Fabregas. 
That I had to get his number. Bad one. That was a that really, one? really bad one. It? Yeah. I had to apologise to him. I had to call, I had to get his number and apologise. Was he playing for Chelsea? Chelsea. Yeah, it was, it was like that. a bad one. It was like, just a, yeah. Did he like, accept your apology? No, he did. Yeah, totally. He was yeah. like, look, like, so, you know, thanks for getting in touch. He was fine. But um, there was another one I think we played Southampton and um, I got sent off here. Did you get sent off from being? Two, were you on as a substitute then? On as and a then, substitute, two and ridiculous then tackles. Off. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you do get angry it's subs, so angry, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Bellamy was uh, a kind of good case for that because he was just mad. Mm. Yeah. What, what about if you get subbed on? This is the worst. One of the worst things I think that can happen to you as a footballer. Surely you get subbed on and then subbed off. Sub, sub. Yeah, the old light switch. That's not good. The light switch. <laughs> 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 yeah, run it off. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. No one likes getting light switched. It's yeah. Not, it's it's very not, rare. But it's degrading. It happens. So degrading. Yeah, I, remember I think that is the worst thing that can happen in football. You said that earlier, didn't you? Yeah, what is the worst? I that is the worst. It's, so. it's, yeah. It, Especially I think, if it's not tactical. If it's, sorry, if it is tactical. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Like no, if it's if it's like you just been that bad when you came on, you get yeah. Like if, like if you come on a sub, but then there's a red card, then you get brought off. Yeah, that's not your fault. No. You can't help. Yeah, that. but if it's like you come on, you're played shit, and you're getting brought off again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember it happened to Charlie Adam once, and we we, we gave him a load of grief for that. But for it's being ha- a light switch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's it's not nice. It can happen to anyone. It's not nice, and even if you see the manager trying to explain it to the player. The player doesn't ever look like they're having any of it. No. What What yeah. were your experiences of being a sub? Says? Yeah, a bit of both. Mixed, mixed bag. Very much? Mixed bag, really. I remember um, coming on, scoring a few times. Yeah, yeah coming on. And I think that's like pretty similar to what you said there. I remember Aston Villa, I think it was my first appearance in my been for Villa. We can away. And I was angry. Because I just wanted to get on the I think it was like 3-0 th- up. Happens. We was 3-0 yeah, up. Yeah. And I was like, come on, get me on. We can, we can. So I come on and I scored. And uh, done it at Fulham as well. Everton at home, come on and scored. But then there's the ones that don't go too well. And you know, like sometimes when you come on and it's cagey. And then like when I used to come on, it was more of a case of getting the box and get us a goal or just, you know, come on, sit in front of that Keep back line and shore things up. So when it's that mode, you're like, oh, you're, you don't want to come on and fuck up. Mm. And there's been a couple of them where I've given a free kick away. Stoke was one of them. Uh, happened at Joe what happened a couple of times at Stoke and it starts going to the manager's mind going can't rely on him Do you know what I mean it's like normally you can trust him and throw him on remember the Stoke one against QPR give a free kick away outside the box and they scored from it and then you know like the whole build up to the free kick you're thinking I'm just going please don't score please don't score yeah. and it was scored oh God if they score and you've oh, been the substitute yeah, yeah worse. you're right because the lads have like worked their bollocks off for 80 odd minutes Two went up, and then you come on and made the mistake. What's what's the most common thing a manager says to you? You know when you're waiting to come on as a substitute, and obviously I understand there's a little bit of tactics and stuff like that. But is there, is it the same old cliched stuff? Is there something yeah, yeah, like, for, like back stronger esque yeah. stuff they all say? You know, yeah, for me, like I remember um, like a few managers saying to me, like uh, even when I was on the bench, sometimes you know we talked about the finishers and all mm. that. They would come up to me and say, "You'll you'll win us a game today." You know, like I. I Classic, just a little yeah. while, like, and I'm like, I'm on the bench here, but I'm still kind of, still does make you feel like, yeah, I am going to fucking win as a game today. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, if you do as well, I told you so. All this, and yeah, it's a, it is, it is a good moment. Yeah, because I've come on and scored like the winners and stuff, and that is, there's nothing better than that. Best, Towards yeah. the end of my career, Ab used to say to me, I'll be fuming. I'm going to come out. I was on the bench again today, and she was like, yeah, but you scored. But like, <laughs> yeah. Then she got into my head, like, actually, well. You feel great, don't you? Your legs are all right. You get to that age where you're saving yourself, scoring goals, and everyone's talking about you. <laughs> What's fucking not to win? Like? <laughs> it's a win win. Like, oh, she makes yeah, a good right. point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See, what the fuck do you want to start for? <laughs> like, yeah. let, let come him. on 80 minutes, yeah. get a winner, and then everyone forgets that you didn't start. <laughs> yeah. I, I had all different ones. Did you? Yeah, because like, like I said before, it, whether I was coming on to score or whether I was coming on to just, you know, just shore things up, it would be a case. The mo- the majority of it was like, shit, let's get on there and fucking start hitting a few. Like, we, like when no one's putting a tackle in, just like, like, like it up. yeah, just get on there and hit someone first, like first couple of minutes you can just to get us going, get the crowd going. 
So you went two footed on Fabregas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did. Do you know Shake Him Up Harry? Did you see that Harry's uh, horse? Harry Redknapp's horse at Cheltenham. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, actually, I actually was on it as well myself. Uh, I texted him after actually, like, because he was so, he was buzzing, wasn't he, he Harry? Was, yeah. But you know why it's called Shake Him Up Harry? So good. He's so, he's on the, he's on the well, bench at West Ham. And uh, there's a fella behind him that sits behind him the whole time going, shake him up, Harry. No, no Shake him up, Harry. No, yeah, he, that, that's that? why he's called. He is, so he's like, I've never seen this fella's face, right? But all I hear, every, whenever we're losing, or shake him up, Harry. <laughs> right? And he said, anyway, he was in Dubai. He said he was going to Burj. I heard this on Talk Sport, actually. And he was saying, uh, he's getting in the lift and he's going up to, to the restaurant in the Burj. Anyway, he's heard from like, behind him just as he's getting in the lift. Harry! And he goes, who's that? He said, he said to Sandra, that sounds just like the fella who sits behind me at West Ham. And he goes, and then he turns around and he starts chatting to him. He goes, are you shaking up Harry? And he goes, no way. That's me! No way! That is incredible. Uh, Unreal. So then he called his horse horse that. Shake him up, Harry. Harry. Shake him up. Get on there and shake him up. Yeah, well, that's that's you, Sid. Shake him up, Sid. Shake him up. We, we've talked about some of the sort of negative substitutions that can happen, i.e. subbed on, subbed off. Mm. Um, what was the other one? Getting sent off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting sent off as well. Is up there with the favourite substitutions to see happening, uh, the referee sub, yeah. which is just always a always joy. Always makes the always. Always. crowd pleaser. It's so fun. Crowd, yeah. Yeah. It's great. Um, or... A goalkeeper substitution as well, for some reason, piques my interest. It takes so long, doesn't it? Well, it's the way they put on their clothes and everything on the bench. It's yeah. like mm. they're so unprepared they're for, for it. it are they? It's all frantic trying to get gloves on. It's like, I don't know. It's like it, you've been caught at someone else's wife's house or something. You're trying to get yeah. your clothes on as quickly as possible yeah. <laughs> to get out the window. <laughs> it's kind of me I've ever formed like that. Oh my god. Where's my socks? <laughs> I'm now gloves. Next time I next time I see a keeper come on, I'm gonna be thinking <laughs> he's trying to climb down the fire escape. That's brilliant. It does look like that. It does look like that, yeah. And even then they run on, it is they run on fast, don't yeah. they? As if they're running away. It's all oh mate, I'm gonna look out for that now. Hi guys, uh, this is a little bit of a call to arms. I've realised that uh, Ben Foster is a goalkeeper uh, and he's got more subscribers than us um, on YouTube. It's an absolute disgrace, really. We're, we're planning on being as big as Mr. Beast. Um, and if you haven't uh, subscribed, then you're a Carl. Uh, and I can't condone that. So please get in touch, hit subscribe um, and make us as big as Mr. Beast or at least bigger than Foster. So we're talking substitutions. The most iconic one that never happened was the cup final, Chelsea, yeah. Kepa and oh, Caballero. Man. And oh, that was purely down team coming off. There was a... He's going, no. Yeah, but it, <laughs> well, he went down injured, but then there was a thought of, are they bringing him on to save penalties? penalties. Because he'd done so well in, in, in previous. And just give it flat refused. <laughs> just the finger, I'm not coming off. Imagine. <laughs> Sorry, he went mad and he stormed down the tunnel. He come back. He was smoking livid. away. Livid. What, what is the actual technical rule on this? So if you refuse the substitution, well, they can't what drag can they you do? off the pitch? Change off the pitch, can you? What are you going to do? Just like pin him down on a stretcher. Do you know what I, I mean? Like well, you, you couldn't, you can't re- physically remove a player, can you? Surely. No. I just went, if someone said to me, right, your number's up, you go like, bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking not going off. What, what can they do? They can't, I don't think they can. I think there must be a time frame on it and then the other team will just go, ref, like, hurry up, come on. And they go, no, play on, <laughs> let's go. But can the ref insist that you leave the pitch? Yeah, probably must be able to. Otherwise, he can send you off. Yeah. But, but this is, I would oh, love to know that. That's what would happen. That's, but that's what I'm trying to say is, can the ref, so if, <clears throat> if, if it, you continue to refuse, you're just like, no, no, no. So the manager then goes to the ref and says, well, I want him off. But surely the ref can't send you off well, you because can, if... Because now you're time wasting. I think he could, yeah. No, because could. if you got sent off, then the substitute can't come on. <gasps> yeah, no, you're oh, down to 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. Then he's let his team down, only he, completely. But this is what I mean. That's why I don't think, unless, uh, what I'd love to know is, is there, is there an actual rule that says the ref can give you a red card? Therefore, you're not going to stay on the pitch for time wasting. And that You're not going to stay on because your team will go down to 10 men. 
Yeah. So the sub won't happen oh, that's... and you've shit housed them. Or is it a case that maybe this rule doesn't exist, that the substitution can only happen by like a complicit player crossing across that line. Yeah, like And at that be. point, the transaction happens. Transaction. <laughs> you have to be complicit. Yeah, because I mean, what what would happen if a player says no? Who I think because in that example there, I do think the manager was kind of fucked. They didn't know what to do. It, it completely undermines the manager. Yeah, doesn't it? you're in like, big trouble if that happens. I, I don't think if it was me as a manager, I don't think you play for me again. No, you can't you can't disrespect on such a global scale <laughs> That's like that? Never happened, is it? In a final though, you getting disrespected like that? Yeah, it is bad, isn't it? Um, talking of positives about being a sub, I've actually got an assist uh, yeah. from being from warming up. From warm, so you weren't even on. We weren't even on the pitch. How's that? Um, it was at Villa Park. I think it was Villa versus Hull City. We sort of put one down the channel. I can't remember if it was the keeper. The keeper, I think, come out. Kick. I was warming up. Kick the ball out. Was off the pitch. I grabbed the right. ball give it to Gabby Bonahor. I think he threw it into Millie straight away and then he volleyed it into the goal. And everyone come to celebrate oh, me. Brilliant. Yeah. And the crowd were like, well done, Sinners! Uh, All right, Sinners, well done there, Sinners! <laughs> <laughs> I think he might be better than me at the old, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the old impressions there. Was that a Villa fan, was it? That was a Villa. That was a Villa oh, faithful. Oh, there, boy! What is Sinners? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you were just in the right place at the right time. That's what it was, right yeah, place, right time. you know right what, time. That's, that's what they always say, but you know, you've got to be there, haven't you? you know but I, mean? yeah, I made an impact. But you, made did an impact. you did make an impact, which yeah. makes me think, should you not be, if you're being paid by a football club to be playing for the club, right, and you're a finisher, <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't you be sent out to... Shit owls. To, to be around the pitch, getting yeah. bo extra ball boy, like getting involved... Mm -hmm. Because to be fair, they've got a goal out of it from you. Yeah. Well, you, you know the rule. You, the rule now isn't there. It didn't rule change where you could, you had to go the other way to the linesman, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because so you have the linesman there, and then you have to subs the other side. Mm. Because if you loads of times you'd be on the linesman just going fucking shit decision that line, though. Yeah. Right. You're just in their ear constantly. Like he's well on side. You know, just constantly. I remember a few managers sending you out. I'm gonna have a word with yeah. him, and you'd be out there going, "That was fucking shit." Yeah. Neil, yeah, but War Neil Warnock's done that. There's a clip of him. Yeah, you, you get him. sent out. He turns around to, to the to bench. Just fucking get down there and tell him to liven up. And then you've got to ping down and <laughs> go and have a word with him. What about so, so? Okay, so let's looking at slightly more alternative management styles here. Mm. How, how many subs are there on the bench? There's let's say there's there now there's seven. A, there's nine? so many now. Changes every week. Well, let's just say there's six. <laughs> you can have five subs just for now. the sake. Bring on of, five. You can no, bring on five. Of, yeah, bring yeah. on five. But there's cast of hundred. But let's just say, let's just say there's six people on the bench, right? Just for the sake of this, and they've got to be on the opposite side to the linesman. Mm. But on both sides of the pitch, there's two opposites there, right? Mm. So you could, if you wanted to put your players to work, put three out on one side of the pitch, trying to look for an assist like you had, Sids, mm. and three out on the other <laughs> side of the pitch. I think as a fan, that would be great to see. <laughs> yeah, but what are you going to do? Just stand out there the whole time? Over the Wait other for the ball. As soon as the ball comes out, straight, well, straight That's what ball boys are there for. Do you remember the yeah, Joe when Tottenham what, it happened at Spurs and exactly. Jose Mourinho got the kid in? Exactly. You don't need the subs over there then. They can just chill on the heated seats. And they just needed you the in that moment. Oh, that's the kind of person I was, you know. I'm just I think the rule is you've got to be You're only warming up down one side. Yeah. That's the rule. Um, you can't go across the pitch. Did you see uh, Mopai? Did you see, did you see him against Chelsea? Where he's warming up. I think it was Chelsea. Is it a throw-in? Where it was a throw-in. Yeah. It, it, it was a free kick. Right wide, right mm -hmm. where he's warming up. So as he's warming up, he's gone on the pitch and just moved the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then carried on warming up and then gone like, what? Yeah. <laughs> he's got that in the locker, isn't he? He's great. No, I, I really, love, I really enjoy him. Good shit, Housery. Yeah. Yeah, sub, sub Housery. Mm. South Housery, yeah. How Sounds you, a bit you sort of yeah, sexual that but how did you find the whole um routine as a as a sub? You know, like where you the you lads get, will go out yeah, and yeah. you kind of do your own stuff over the other side, then you come in. How much do you need to piss, by the way? Yeah, I think you need to piss more. Like the whole the whole start the whole first half, you're desperate because you've drank as much water as the people at the starting. Mm. And like 
you, you just don't run it off or like you, you, you stay so hydrated and then you just constantly keep having to nip in. It's weird. What, when you're warming up? Yeah, when you're warming up, I just used to have to run in it all the time. Did yeah. you have that problem? Mm, Do you have to ask the manager like, for a piss? Or? No, I just nah, used to you run in. Just go. Well, mind you, you have to let them know a little bit to say I need to go for a piss. You do, because if he turns around, just like, go, where's oh, me? Not there. He's on the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's been done many a time. <laughs> yes. yes. I, I actually, there was one player who I won't mention. I've, I've, I've seen him run into uh, watch the, like the, the, the 340 at Newmarket. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I, I have. I, I I've think seen one I player can, go in and watch a I, race I, and I then can, come back out again. I've heard that. Liverpool player. Well, no, no comment. Yeah, <laughs> that's yes. I think we all know who that is. <laughs> 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 that's unreal yeah. Yeah, I mean it's is... not a long you know it's only a couple of minutes isn't it <laughs> but still <laughs> during <laughs> well the thing is it's like the Grand National happens when the match is on isn't it on a Saturday isn't it isn't the Grand National like 3.45 yes, on, uh, on a Saturday same time as football yeah yeah so yeah. I mean if you're on the bench if you kind of delay you could delay your old um, coming out for the second half can't yeah. you for a couple of minutes and it's that quite racing. an eerie thing, isn't it, when you're in the dressing room so as weird. a sub and everyone else is playing and the game's on outside and you feel like you shouldn't be in the dressing room. So even weird. Even if you're just whatever, delaying the toilet tactic or you've come back in to... Mm. Have, you, have, you ever, yeah, have you done that where you've got your pads, shirt yeah. or you've... I've done geez, that. Fuck, I think I get back in and get my shin pads or shirt. I've done that, but I've always, I've always remembered before I've had to come on. So I've pinged it back in and got my shin pads. Do, do they have a little guard on the door or can you just flow in? No, you can just go in. There's, there's, there's always there's, someone down the tunnel. So there, you could pop into the away if you wanted. Don't think so. No, no. Usually the kit man in there, isn't there? It's usually like an assistant kit man or a kit man that's in there all the time. Yeah. Um, but it does feel weird when you go in there. What is worse in that situation is when you've been sent off and you walk in. How weird is that when you're sitting in the dressing room waiting for everyone to come in? You're on your own. That's a horrible wait. It was like waiting for your dad to come home from work if you've been naughty, uh, wasn't it? Especially if you've got pumped as well. Yeah. Everyone's fuming, gutted, and it's like yeah. on you. Yeah. yeah so that's just, you just one. have your head down, do you? Yeah. Well, you just, I think you apologise, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, put your own it's like, sorry, that's yeah. my, my fault. When you see players running off down the tunnel, uh, whether they've been sent off or, because they normally have a little camera on the tunnel now, don't they, to sort of flick to for the TV, you see them going down. There's always a fella chasing after them <laughs> yeah. in, a, in a jacket. Mm -hmm. Always. So they smash the changing room up. Yeah, is that someone... what it is? To try and calm... Because you do know. see calm them. Down, grab, yeah. grab them, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be like, just to make sure you're all right, anything you need, whatever. Yeah. Because um, that can be a dark, lonely place. It's almost like a Samaritan, isn't it? Like, it's just like someone, someone just runs down and goes like, you okay? Yeah, just <laughs> chasing after the player. I someone, always just think it's a bit a funny little bit of the game, mm. watching the fella in a suit, jacket, chasing after... Mm. An elite player who's running down the tunnel. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like a shit race. Mm. Yeah, you're right, actually, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever have a uh, certain seat? And you on, on the, the bench? bench. Uh, well, Towards the end. Towards the end, I was pretty... Was Did you go, that's few. my chair, get up. Get out of the way. Yeah, there's a, there a few of those, yeah. They should have retired that seat for you. Yeah, the stove one. They <laughs> <laughs> started a lot of games there, you know, as well. <laughs> Towards the end, there was a lot of, lot of substitute appearances. Was it a stoke where they come the brand sponsored the headrests mm. and the be people behind couldn't see the players so they, the headrests just went in the end Every and there was game. uproar for the club. Oh, there was right. the sponsored headrests obviously when they go to the manager you always see that it was like a sponsored headrest um, and then uh, I remember, you couldn't see a thing if you were on the back row of the thing because the headrests were like there mm. you're like, so you had to just take them off and then all the sponsors were kicking off. But what I mean but the fans needed to see right? Or was it a no, case no, you meet you on the bench? The oh, bench, you the guys players. couldn't see. Yeah, yeah we couldn't in... see. Yeah. That was yeah. ridiculous. Here's a question for you boys. What one match in football history would you like to be subbed into? Uh, what a question. Yeah, mm. that is good. Like, obviously, you'd pick, you'd pick one that's like unbelievable. Like, imagine coming on half-time in Istanbul. Yeah. Oh, I think that would, be, that would be up there for yeah. me. I reckon I would pick that. But having said that, I would... I would come on earlier in uh, the final I played in, in Athens in 2007. I'll come on, I don't know, I've probably got about 15, 20 minutes. I'd like to have come on at half-time 
in that. See, are we assuming that the result would play out the same? So is the other spin on this oh, that you okay, have yeah, to pick yeah. a game that actually okay. you would well, like to come into? That would... I've got a reverse one. I'd like to have been subbed off. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, to be fair. Hull versus, uh, Fulham versus Hull. Nil-nil at half-time. And then we lost 6-0. 6-0. So I'd love to have come off at half-time. Would you say that one? Little niggle. <laughs> little niggle. I drew nil-nil. I drew, boys. You lost. Yeah. Six, <laughs> wow. Yeah, six in, six, six in the second half. Yeah, I think coming on in that in Istanbul, we like being Didi a man, like when he came yeah. on and explained what that was like. Yeah. Like nothing else. Because you're on the road to nothing, aren't you, as well? Like if you, you, the chips are down, what can get worse? No, no. Can't get much worse than that, can it? If you come no, no. on, but then if, if, if you get the that one. moment when <sighs> he scored the winning pen, as well, he scored the winning pen, yeah. he scored a penalty. Yeah. You know, that'll be, that'll be special. Yeah, that, yeah so. I think you've got to be one where there's a trophy at the end. Mm. And they don't come much bigger than that. And game in, in that game as well. Mm. Not really many World Cup games, is there? There's been... Well, I'm just trying to think. Like, I, I, I can only, you can only say about England, really, and it was, that was only 66, really. That, I wouldn't want to play in any tournament that you haven't won it. You know what I mean? yeah. yeah. It's nuts what you're saying, Sid, though, that you can lose as a team 6-0, but still come out looking good by being substituted at the right time. So if it's nil nil, you come off like, it's like and what? go on to lose six nil. You weirdly, despite the terrible result, look amazing to the manager. The, the, the yeah. discussion in the pubs after is like, what did he take Sid for? Yeah, for? Can't take Sid off. I mean, look what happened. <laughs> what <laughs> happened, boys? It's, yeah. it's like what did you do. There's so many times where you're where you haven't played and the team's got pumped, and then everyone starts asking the questions. <laughs> you're on the phone ins after the game. It's like, well, we just need, you know, Crouch is injured. You've got to ask questions <laughs> we need to the manager. <laughs> <laughs> we need him back. Here's the home going, yeah, fucking right. Can't wait to be back. You've never been tempted to either yourself or a mate of yours phone into a talk-in no. just to kind like, of get a get bit of hype. Just, just to like boost yourself. Crouch would have made all the difference. Yeah. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reckon my dad did. And I, I literally, I, I could, I'm certain my old man Must have happened. That. At least a text into a radio station. Yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> I know he was on a few fans forums just going like, we should have, when, when's Crouch fit? <laughs> 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 He'll make all the difference. <laughs> While we're talking Paddy Power, uh, have we all seen the Brazilian Ronaldo ad? It's mm. gone massive on social, this thing. Incredible. So am I right, uh, and I guess if you haven't seen this, you need to check it out, to think now that Brazilian Re Ronaldo's replaced you <laughs> as their official ambassador? <laughs> you know what, right? I saw that and I said, like, I know the lads that did the, the ad. I've done loads of stuff with them before. And I was like, any chance? Do you know what I mean? Like me being involved in that one with Ronaldo. So did you know it was happening? No, I had no idea. It just came out and I was like, oh, this is, I've been shit housed. Because we, on this podcast, obviously, yeah. we had um, Kim Jong-un, yeah. you know, Elton John, which we've managed to do, by yeah. the way. Yeah. And I and could Ronaldo. have had my hands on Ronaldo for a pick. That's all we needed, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely oh. stitched up. They didn't, didn't get in touch with me at all. So I, I see this and he... Uh, he turned up in a white limo. Yeah. Strolled across the pitch. In a Sunday um, league club in Essex. Essex. For a Sunday league club in Essex. And one of the players took his hat off as well. And he had the haircut the yeah, on haircut, the front. Yeah. And he said, Unreal. what do you think of this? And he said, you're going to get divorced. <laughs> and he said, yeah, but... It's Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, but what a player. My God. So apparently he flew in uh, directly from Sao Paulo, came straight to... Uh, it was the Sports and Social Club in... Uh, in Romford, Essex. Um, yeah, Phoenix FC. So was it a real game? Apparently a real game, yeah. Was it actually a real game? Ronaldo was <sighs> unable to overturn a 5-0 deficit. Mm. They what? do the substitutions, Ronaldo, the whole way through the managers giving him like... Oh, don't so want to give away it. what happened. Well, he's the really. fellow I know, yeah. the manager. Oh, really? Uh, uh, yeah, and he, uh, he kind of does, does those ads. Oh, and he's, right. the, he's the manager. Well, you know the manager that was... He's not on that ad. So he said he, he, he dragged him off uh, after a cameo of 10 minutes and uh, he said he wasn't tracking back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. 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 And he gets, sub, he gets subbed off on this thing and they're just like, unlucky, son. <laughs> yeah, it's Rob. We were actually, like, he's involved. Big shout out to Rob, right? Mm. He's involved with Paddy Power. Um, he, he goes, what was the quote again? Um, Look alive, Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was the quote. Come on, Ronaldo, look alive. <laughs> Ronnie, Ronaldo. shake him up. <laughs> shake him up, Ronnie. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, we'll get into a few messages, shall we? Yeah. I've uh, got one here from Matt. Uh, Legends. I was in my local pub the other day and I saw a framed picture, and, picture of Crouchy and Rio Ferdinand on the wall. Ooh. I've been drinking there for 15 years now and I've only just noticed it. It got me thinking, I wonder how many boozers Crouchy reckons he's featured in. Probably quite a few, I, I imagine. I reckon they were quite prolific. In yeah, I've been in quite a few mm. over the years. Um, obviously, we know that I'm in the Sam Rat. Um, there was one recently, I was... I don't know if I told you this story. I I was watching Crime Watch, right? So and it's still it, on. Uh, wow. yeah, no. Where is this? Going? <laughs> <laughs> it's about. I reckon this was about three, four years ago, five yeah. years ago, maybe. It was a while ago. Yeah. Anyway, this this um, it, it it showed a picture, right? And it was like this fella, you know, he owned this nightclub. He was, uh, and it said. Oh, he's, uh, he used to knock about with a few stars and there was a picture of me and Gareth Barry <laughs> with this fella. With he him? Was, like on the run or something. No way. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was watching Chrome Watch and it just popped up. I was, <laughs> I was like, fuck you. So it was like a frame, it was like a framed photo that he had in his office or something. The problem you have, I think, Pete, is you can't like, you, someone asks for a photo, you're just going to have a photo, aren't you? You're not associated with the criminal in that instance, well, but you look like you're endorsing him almost. And yeah, that's but never at happened. that time I was, I was like, all right, come on, mate, let's have a pic. Yeah, but if someone comes and asks you for a photo, you can't ask can't for think, yeah. a seat. You can't say, look, no, have not until I've done a thorough yeah. sort of research. Sorry, mate, before we have this photo, have you done anything illegal? Yeah. <laughs> Can you just can you just let me know that uh, you know? Yeah. Uh, Have you all been checked out? Is everything above board? Yeah. Who was the other player? Gareth Bale? Did you say? Me and Gareth. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe it though. But I, I no one had briefed me on it. I just, I just watching Crime Watch. My face was on it. <laughs> <laughs> they should have pixelated your face. It feels just a bit. You know what I mean, I, I, I almost. Why is someone going to recognise them more <laughs> because they had a photo with you? Do you know what I mean? I don't know what it was. I don't know. I don't know what. I can't remember the scenario. But I remember the... But also, if you're not watching properly, you know, you don't always have... It's fully focused on the TV and I see Crime Watch, I'm watching Crime Watch and just keeping a casual eye just in case there's someone I recognise there, I'll be like, fucking I know him, it's Peter Crouch. Like, yeah. you'd be, I'll be on the phone. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I'm saying. At least it wasn't a, a sketched yeah. picture. Have you, ever been, you, be yeah, yeah. Have you <laughs> ever been sketched in court? Uh, no. No, that's no. a blinder. Like, no, no, I don't... I, yeah, obviously, I don't want to do anything bad enough that I end up... But the, the ones of Rooney a while ago were amazing. Mm. If I was him, I'd want a copy of that yeah. for the sketches. for the wall. Mm. Yeah, that, it's still a thing, isn't it? The old court sketches. Yeah. It's, um, mm. I think we've talked about it on the pod before. There, yeah, You're a very specific artist, I think, to do court sketches because they're never... Mm. They never... I think they do it on purpose, don't they? It's a bit like caricatures. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, like, you know, we talk about this, 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 like, pictures on the wall. I'm still trying to think now. I, I know there's a, there's a couple of pictures that I know that are dotted around, like old locals and things like that. And there was the, the Holy Arms in Camden. It's quite yeah. a famous pub, isn't it? And I've, yes. I've got my shirts in there. Have you? Yeah, my, I've got a signed shirt in there. One, did one of the, the, the barman, oh, sorry, the, one of the manager, it's a good lad, actually. He uh, was a Liverpool fan. And I got him a shirt. I used oh, to wow. drink in there quite a bit. And I lived. Did you get free away. drinks for that? Uh, I got the odd. The drink also. I like them quirky pubs where you can go abroad and you can leave a lot of like if you're in America you leave a dollar bill with a signature or a phrase on there behind the bar it's nice though have you been Good. to like Scalini's Italian and, yeah. in, 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 and you've got all the people that have been in there over yeah. the years amazing yeah I like it I like people it. do pass the pub by it's, we've seen quite a lot of this travelling they'll put like either a sticker on there mm. or write on the wall there's some bars that you yeah. write on the wall and stuff pass like that the pod on it past the pod but and I do think we've thought about this idea before around you know if if, if you do want to put a picture of uh, you know the podcast in your local pub they're unlikely to remove it because there's just stuff in pubs isn't there mm. that you know for a long that period is. of time in the old pub we had um, a foot massager and then there was a picture David James drew and we just left it in the pub to be fair that got nicked eventually mm. but we talked about it on the podcast, so we were sort of drawing attention to it. But the foot massager just stayed in there a while, didn't it? Well, it looked like a projector above the TV, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, no one knew. In fact, the foot massager. The feet that have been in that seat. Oh my god! Like... So if, if the feet could talk. <laughs> 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 
Yes. Uh, all right, listen, I'm going to fire in if you don't mind and end this with a uh, with an 11. Yeah, we, we love, love. What's the theme today, uh, please? Blueies. A bluey, bluey 11. 11. It's a bluey 11, yeah. From who? Uh, this is from James. Um, oh, great. I don't know how much... To, I mean, there's some here that... It starts with Zach, Zach Stiffen in goal, uh, Andy Robertson, uh, <laughs> Solid Campbell, um, obviously Steve Sexwell's in there. It's always going to be a uh, Steve Obviously, yeah. Uh, Shane Long, uh, Christian Eric, Erection, <laughs> uh, I can't say that one, uh, <laughs> Lucas Poldolski, uh, Chubby Akpom, uh, Nobby Solhardo, uh, Gabby, <laughs> Bonahor. <laughs> Oh, the manager's the best. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, the manager's just Pelé. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. David Seaman was gutted to miss out on this, uh, uh, on this 11 as I've well. I've got one. I've got uh, one. You got one? Yeah. Um, the former Chelsea player, Ian Throbbing. <laughs> yeah, nice. Lovely. <laughs> okay. All Lovely. Right. Um, it, it's June. kind of moving into the old... Pen- penis eleven that we've had previously. Yeah, almost, you know, we'll yeah, have Peter Crotch. We, we, yeah, we can is, bring really. them all out. Um, yeah, all Rodwell, good. have we had Rodwell on there? Yeah, Rod, Rod, Rodwell's nice. Yeah, um, there's plenty about. Mm. Sure. Alan Hardew. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this one. Uh, long live the super sub uh, and remember super sub is available on the paddy power app now when your player comes off your bet rolls over to the new player coming in